defied gender and reigned over the Harlem Renaissance. Keeping Black history alive. Gladys Bentley was born in Philadelphia, the eldest of four children. From age nine, she began stealing her brother's suits, claiming to be more comfortable in boys' clothing. This behavior was seen as abnormal and unladylike. From feeling restrained, Gladys ran away from home at the age of 16 and headed for New York City, Harlem to be exact. There she chased her dreams of being a musician. By late 1920, Bentley was recording her own music and ran in similar circles to Langston Hughes, who referred to her talents. Gladys would perform at clubs, like the Apollo and Cotton Club. They would even create their own musical review with a chorus of eight dancers in drag. Despite creating a name for herself and seeing small successes in nightclubs and other venues, Bentley struggled to find mainstream success due to her appearance. She often dressed like a man, sporting her signature black and white tuxedo, but her strides would not go in vain. Bentley was just ahead of her time. Decades later, we'd see more and more performers bending gender and finding huge success. Folks like Prince, Janelle Monet, Debrat, Andre 3000, and even Young Thug continue to define their own ways of how to present themselves on stage. Mostly in part due to the doors Bentley pushed open. And that's keeping Black history alive. Keeping that history alive we here at The Grio are honoring Black people's vast contributions in science, entertainment, fashion, sports, food, and more.